Well, nothing just yet, but as you can see, Jerry the giraffe has gone face down onto the floor at the moment. I also have a feather duster, which we'll talk about in a moment too. But come and have a closer look. Look at this. We have not seen Jerry the giraffe for quite some time. And if you look very, very carefully, you'll see, look how big the waxy tunnel's got. It's very, very sort of long now. It must be about five or six centimeters in length. Isn't that great? And there's actually a little bee there too. Now I'm gonna get the microscope. Come over here and I'm gonna try and get this all to work. I just need to, of course, find it. And it's, it's a bit difficult to hold it still too. It's not going to be the easiest. I'm not a professional like James when it comes to handling the microscope. Let's see. Little bees, where are you? They were, they're coming out. We're gonna go across the microscope. You can have a look at it now. So that's the waxy sort of chamber. Like, oh, there comes a visitor. Come on, little bee. Now, these are what we call stingless bees. So they don't have a sting, as their name clearly suggests, but they bite. And this one seems to be quite shy. Now, that's how they defend themselves. Normally, African bees will, or hornets and things, and even wasps, uh, to try and protect their hives, they will sting any intruders and that's not the case here they'll actually swarm because you'll get thousands of these little creatures living in hives and natural cavities they typically like to they'll use skulls as they clearly have done here with jerry the giraffe and then they'll do the same thing with logs and any little sort of cavities like that and they'll swarm any intruders and bite them now they have got a substance that can cause blistering and normally when they bite us it's actually quite itchy but they're tiny. They're really minute little things. And it doesn't look like it when you're looking at them through the microscope. Isn't that an amazing thing? I apologize, it's a little bit shaky. This is me trying to keep it all still. Remember, hashtag Safari Live with any of your questions. Oh, here comes another one. Paula, you said if only all bees were stingless. Well, wouldn't that be an absolute dream? Though I think then, unfortunately, our bee population would decline even more rapidly than what it's uh, doing at the moment. It's very sad. Now, unfortunately with these little bees, you get them all over the world, by the way, to Asia, Australia, here in Africa, and they don't produce a lot of honey. They don't produce honey like our African bees do, or the rest of the bees over, uh, throughout the world. Some of them produce enough that you can, of course, uh, utilize it but otherwise they just make small little honey pots just enough for them now i'm just trying to see why you keep going out of focus right i'm hoping that they're going to come back out again it'll be nice but this the tunnel is basically made of plant resin if we're wondering what that is let me put it up okay come on oh jerry Ugh, it's actually quite heavy it's not a light skull this Trying to see if there's anyone else living in here. There used to be spiders. I think there was a violin spider living in here at one point, which is why I put it on the floor and opted not to rest it on my lap because that wouldn't be very nice to sort of be bitten by. Now